Hi and welcome to this lesson on sinking funds. Now you might have never in your life heard about sinking funds but it's actually quite a simple idea uh, but I'll explain with an example. Imagine you just bought yourself a car. It is an old car, it is quite an ugly car but that's what you could afford and let's say you paid 20,000 Rand for this old car. Okay. Now in about five years time let's say five years down the line you want to replace it with a brand new car so you want to buy a brand new car this time a prettier car here we go let's say that is a prettier car a newer car now obviously this new car will be more expensive because as time goes by prices increase so let's say this one will be 50,000 Rand to buy a new car in five years time. Now, will you be able to sell your old car for 20,000 Rand? Of course not. Over time, a car's value will decrease. So when you sell it at this time, after five years, you'll probably only get something like 10,000 Rand for your old car. Okay, so to buy a new one will cost you 50,000 and to sell when you sell the old one you will get 10,000 now that means you still need 40,000 Rand in order to buy the new one okay now this 40,000 where are you gonna get it well you can borrow it from the bank if you want to but alternatively you can start a fund right now Okay, so th and that fund will be called a sinking fund. So the idea of a sinking fund is to save up money to buy something that is expensive at a later time. Okay, so it's kind of to supplement replacing something that is expensive. Okay, so what are all the elements involved here well first of all we will be we will have to work out how much will I pay for a new vehicle so the first thing that is involved is inflation inflation and inflation we use the simple compound growth formula so the future value is equal to the present value 1 plus the inflation rate inflation rate is usually expressed per year so n would be the number of years that um, that goes by okay the next thing is I want to know how much will I that's this is how much I will need to pay for the new one now I want to know well how much will I get for my old one okay so for the old we'll use depreciation because the car in this case it's a car the car will depreciate over time and the future value here it depends on what depreciation we're using let's assume we're using the reducing balance method there we go that would be the formula for the future value of the vehicle next I need to calculate my sinking fund how will I calculate how much money must I have in the end okay in the end it is simply new minus the old so new minus the old okay what will the new one cost what will the old one cost and the new minus the old that's the 40,000 answer that we get that's how much I will have in my need to have in my sinking fund okay so how does that help me so now that I know how much I will need in the future and I want to make monthly or maybe yearly investments I can use the future value of annuity future value of annuity formula in other words F is equal to my monthly payment one plus my interest to the power of the number of investments I'm going to make minus one over I and with this formula we already know the future value 
we will know how many investments we have to make we will know the interest that we can earn at a certain in a certain investment and we want to know how much must I start investing right away so that instead of having to take out 40,000 Rand at once I can rather save monthly for the next five years so that I have that 45,000 Rand available Okay, in the next video we'll look at a decent example with values and with figures and going through the whole process. See you then.